Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this quick video today, I want to talk to you about something that is terrible, okay? It's age-related macular degeneration. This terrible condition causes vision loss, permanent vision loss, in millions of Americans every year, and no telling how many people in other parts of the world. This is a condition that is found in Western civilized uh, societies like the U.S., Canada, Great Britain, Australia, and that tells me that it has something to do with diet. So let's talk about age-related macular degeneration, how to prevent it, and how you might actually be able to reverse some of it, okay? First, please take one second and hit the subscribe button right down there. You see that little button that says subscribe? Click that so that every time I have a bright idea, you'll get a notification. And if you'll click the little bell right beside it, then you'll get an immediate notification that tells you every time Dr. Barry has a bright idea, okay? Now let's talk about this very, very serious condition. Imagine that you're an elderly person. You've, you've lived your life. You've had some degree of success and you've got your children and your grandchildren, maybe your great grandchildren, and you can't even enjoy the success and the productivity and the reproduction that you've had in this life because you can't see. Macular degeneration is a thief of vision. It steals your central vision so that when you can't see what you're looking at. You can only see peripherally. So if, if older people enjoy reading or looking at their great-grandchildren's sweet, smiling faces, they can't look directly at them. They have to look to the side. And so if your peripheral vision's not good, reading's out. And you can't ever see the smile of your of your little babies again because that vision is permanently gone. This makes me very, very sad. If you have anybody like that, if you have a grandfather, grand, great grandmother who has macular degeneration, please share this with them on social media or share it with someone who takes care of them, who can share this information with them, because this might actually at least a little bit reverse the macular degeneration, okay? I've been doing research on this topic for a while. Nisha, my wife, her grandfather actually suffers from macular degeneration. He used to be a, a principal at school. He loves to read, but he just can't read anymore. He, he can barely even see the newspaper with this huge magnifying glass. And so he just has to sit and listen to television. He can't see Nisha's face when she smiles at him. He just can't see anything. And it's it really makes me sad. It makes me want to cry when I think about it. And if we can prevent that from happening, if we can actually reverse that a little bit, wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? So please share this with anybody who you know who needs it. Here's what I found, okay? Macular degeneration is almost certainly a disease that is worsened by the wrong diet. It is worsened by the standard American diet. It is worsened by the American Diabetic Association diet. It is worsened by the American Heart Association diet because all of these diets recommend very high carb, very low saturated fats, okay? Now, here's the things that I've found through the research. I've, I've looked through all the research studies and this is what I've gleaned. Eating one cup of spinach a day will actually decrease your risk by 90%. Isn't that crazy? And that's in the that's in the literature. That's that's there. OK, so one cup of spinach a day. Now, if you don't like and I'm not saying spinach in the can. Right. Get fresh spinach and eat it raw or lightly steam it if you must and eat a cup of spinach a day. First of all, it's good for you. Second of all, it's keto. Third of all, you might actually be able to prevent ever having age related macular degeneration. They should really change the name to diet-related macular degeneration, right? So a cup of, of spinach a day absolutely slashes your risk of ever having this condition. Now, can you keep eating your, your Lucky Charms and your honey buns and then just add a cup of spinach a day? Yeah, that's probably dumb. That probably won't work, right? So don't do that. Switch to paleo ancestral keto and add a cup of spinach a day, okay? Because your diet is the most important thing when it comes to this condition. Carrots? What do you think about carrots? You think carrots will help? Well, they actually studied this along with the spinach. Carrots have no effect whatsoever. So if you're going to eat a few carrots, eat them raw. Don't eat cooked carrots. They're just a starch, right? Carrots have no effect on preventing macular degeneration, but spinach actually has a huge effect. The next thing I found is that fatty ocean fish, right? Like anchovies, like salmon, like sardines, like tuna, any of the deep fatty ocean fish, 
actually cut your risk by a third. Okay, if you if you eat that kind of fish three times a week, so a cup of spinach every day, fatty ocean fish three three servings uh, three uh, a week. So three times a week you would eat a serving of that. And now, do you just eat three, or can you eat more? Of course, you can eat more. It's ketogenic. It's perfectly acceptable on any of the diets. And the more you eat, the better. Okay, but they just studied if someone is eating three servings a week of a fatty ocean fish, they cut the risk of macular degeneration by a third. The next thing is they found that if you're using vegetable oils, and I've got another video on this, you can check it out on the channel here. But first of all, if you've seen my video, you know that they're not vegetable oils. That's crap, okay? They're seed or bean oils, and they have no vegetables in them. But if you're eating vegetable oils, they actually give you a four times greater risk of macular degeneration. So once again, I'll say it. If you have canola oil in your kitchen, pause this video right now, get up, go in the kitchen and throw it in the garbage because that's what it is. It's garbage. Okay. If you're using any of the vegetable oils to cook with, throw them away. You want to be cooking your meals in butter, in bacon grease or lard, in beef tallow, in lamb suet or avocado oil. Uh, at low heat, you can use uh, olive oil, right? You do not want to be using canola, safflower, soybean, any of that crap. Throw it away. It quadruples your risk of age-related macular degeneration, okay? The next is nuts, and I'm talking here about tree nuts. A lot of people, if you don't live in the southern United States, you think that peanuts are also a nut. Peanuts are not a nut. Peanuts grow under the ground like a potato, okay? They're not a real nut. They changed the name back in the 20s. They used to be called goober peas. Yeah, so peanuts are not nuts. I'm talking about tree nuts, right? If they grow on trees and you eat a serving a week, they'll actually cut your risk of macular degeneration by 50%. They'll cut it in half. Nice, right? So the other thing they found in these studies is that the higher glycemic index foods you eat, the greater your risk of developing macular degeneration. So anytime you're eating whole wheat, you're actually elevating your risk. Hello, American Diabetic Association. Are you listening it, all, it makes your diabetes worse, and it causes you to have a higher risk of developing macular degeneration. Stop that, okay? If you, don't, if you don't know what glycemic index is, you can Google it, and you can see a list of foods. You need to avoid every food with a high glycemic index. None of them are on the ketogenic diet. <clears throat> so basically, if you're eating a ketogenic diet, you're cutting your risk of age-related macular degeneration by 90 95%. Isn't that nice? I love that. You don't have to go to the doctor. You don't have to get those shots in your eyeballs. Can you imagine that? They hold you down and put a needle into your eyeball. That's how. That's the current state-of-the-art treatment for macular degeneration. And that only slows it down. It doesn't cure it. Now, everybody, all doctors think, and I still have to officially say, that once you've developed macular degeneration and you have the damage and the vision loss, that's permanent. Okay? But actually, no one's really studied that. No one's really said, hey, let's take a thousand people and put them on a ketogenic diet who have macular degeneration and let's feed them keto for a year and see what happens to their vision. No one's done that study. So really, the answer is we don't know. But if 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 my grandfather, if Nisha's grandfather, if your grandfather has macular degeneration, I would try really hard to increase the amount of good quality fats that they eat every day. I would try to get them to eat a cup of spinach a day. I would try to get them to eat fatty ocean fish three, four, five times a week. I would try, I would sneak into the kitchen when they're not looking and get the Crisco and put it in the garbage where it belongs. And I would get them some good bacon grease or some good butter to cook in. They may already be doing that anyway. I don't know. But my point is, why not try? What do you have to lose, right? If their macular degeneration gets even a little bit better, what a blessing, right? So to recap, eat your spinach, eat your fatty ocean fish, eat your tree nuts, and avoid anything with a high glycemic index, and you're almost guaranteed to never develop age-related macular degeneration. 
This is Dr. Barry. I really love making these videos. If this is something that you really enjoyed, please share it with all your friends and definitely your family who may be at risk of macular degeneration on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, wherever. I'm on all those. Also, if you really enjoy the messages that I bring to people, I have a Patreon link down below. You can click it and you can donate a buck or two to help me have more time to make videos just like this. I'll see you next time.